everybody. Let's see, I was trying to think of what date it was. I think it was like uh, September 25th or something. I'm not sure I forgot to look before I got on the phone. But uh, I wanted to show you, I don't know if anybody has trouble set, setting up a strawberry pot. And I had this pot, let's see, it's got one, two, three, I don't know, about six holes in it. It's, uh, I was trying to think, let's see, it's about, I don't know, about 15 inches high. I have a smaller one, and then I got a, I think I got a bigger one somewhere. But anyway, I tried to grow strawberries in it, and mine failed. Uh, clay pots are drier, and so uh, I'll, I'll show my, I, I got something else like a succulent and another strawberry pot, but I have had success with things that like to stay dry, like herbs, or something like that and some people have trouble trying to figure out how to keep the dirt in the holes uh, you do have to layer it so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one-handed I am um, I had some uh, spearmint in this pot and I put it um, like uh, spreading it out because in the fall it's kind of what I do this has been in this pot for a couple years and I already made a big pot of it and I drank a lot of mint tea so uh, well, just let me show you hold on for just a minute okay now I have a small one that I've got peppermint in and it's kind of in partial shade and I don't get a lot of mint out of it like this one died um, some of them have made it but um, I don't know what else to put in it and then I'll show you my, my other one and then this is my big bigger strawberry pottery it might be about the same and this is in the succulent family my mother-in-law gave me some and it really loves the strawberry pot it's like likes to stay dry it is trailed so it has done well so just try to figure out what would look good so hold on so that'll give you some examples and I kind of already started and I thought oh I need to make a video so there's a hole in the bottom for good drainage and I usually I have like a broken pot and so I saved like little pieces of pottery you can bust that up and I had already done that so put us like a small stone or a piece of pottery in the bottom and I compost in place but I, I threw some leaves in here um, I'm taking some dirt from my old pot uh, and putting in there but I'm going to put some new dirt in there, but I try to recycle all my dirt. And when I do that, I, I put some peat moss and some like fresh dirt. And then that way I don't have to buy a lot of dirt. So I've got this one root. I'm going to try to do this one handed. So you find the lowest hole. I'm hoping that makes sense when I do this. This looks like this could be two. I'll put this one in here. So anyway. Stick it in the hole as far as you can, like that. If you can see, put it in there, and then you're gonna put some dirt on it. So I'm trying. I got to get some fresh dirt, but you can't do it from the hole. You've got to do it from inside. And then I'm gonna have to wet it a little bit. And as everything gets moist. It kind of holds in place. It's kind of really neat. So, let me get some water here. I'm trying not to joshy y'all around. So, if your soil is not already moist, just uh, wet it a little bit. You gotta keep it moist because after you finish, this pot's gonna get really dry. And so, I wet it really good when I'm setting it up. So, and then just mash that in. So you just like match it inside. And I'm gonna keep filling and, and layering. So I'm gonna take, I got some fresh dirt here. And really with herbs, I'm not supposed to use stuff with fertilizer, but it's hard for me to just keep buying different dirt. So I do, they seem to do okay. So I'm gonna go back up. <sighs> Try not to bounce you around. So this looks like, Curl around. I kind of went high. This is like my lower hole, so I need to get one in that. And I hope this will spread out. 
and you could put um, I had thought about putting all kinds of herbs in it for like a little kitchen garden but I'd kind of already set that up and something it's getting fall so it's kind of hard to set up a kitchen garden right now so I might do that next year we'll see how this does and I'll find me another strawberry pot I usually can find them used about five dollars like at state sales and things like that so you can get them pretty cheap I think one I bought had a chip in it that I bought it in a at and a state sale it was a uh, five I knew they run 1520 the large ones can run into the hundreds so that's not in my budget so I just pick up what I can so hold on just for a second okay let's see now got some more old dirt let's see if you can see it from the hole it's kind of hard got my old dirt I got some peat moss and you can use uh, peat moss and vermic and add vermiculite worm castings uh, you can put a little compost uh, whatever you like so uh, I usually use I take peat moss and then the miracle Grow pot mix and then I take like I save all my old pots and I incorporate all my old dirt in when I'm making new pots so if I don't mix it up in a bucket I just throw some in a pot because you don't want all this to get compacted I mean it will and you're going to lose some of it. Some of it's going to get out of the hole. And you keep layering. And keep watering. And the peat moss is dry. And you're going to have some that comes out of the hole. And just keep mashing. And eventually it'll stay in there when it's, it's wet. So make sure your roots... Are covered up like that so I'm hoping I'm not bouncing it around too much I should have wet this dirt uh, it's best when the soil is wet or moist and then let's say I can take some of the stuff that I got uh, out of my other pot that way you don't have to keep buying dirt so I'm do that Keep mashing that in now got two done and see this one's almost filled up so I gotta get it's filling up dirt so I gotta get a plant in there and you can put flowers in there I mean you can put whatever you like and but I water all the time so I'm like every day because I have a lot of containers and with me being in the south uh, it gets really hot and it's still it's supposed to be cooling off I mean our nights are a little cool but it's still getting like mid 80s and low 90s sometime in September and so I'm ready for it to be cool but uh, it can like dry out in a day now the herbs don't hurt but yeah my strawberries didn't make it and I've seen pictures where the strawberries were in the pots and it's really neat. I mean, they hang and it's really beautiful. But that's not going to happen so here. So, not for me anyway. I have to put strawberries in a bed. So, just keep layering, layering, and watering. And I'm trying to do all this one handed. So, be patient and keep mashing the plant in. So, it's eventually, it's going to get a little messy see when it gets wet then the dirt will hold in I mean it's kind of really neat after you get through and that one's like a little baby it'll sprout back out because you want any mint you want to put in a pot Whew, and it's starting to get heavy so we got that one let's see where's my next hole looks like right there so I'll put you down for a minute hold on okay now I got, let's see, I got one, got a little bitty there, and I think I might add some more there. Got that one, that one, so we'll try to find me a plant for that one. So go up here, and you just have to go from bottom to top. I might have to go find me some more mint. Lord, I got it all over the yard, so. 
try to add another little piece in here. Because I usually, my containers, I try to do, especially like stuff like this, every two years. I mean, you want to make sure you get the roots covered up. And it'll look kind of rough for uh, a few weeks, but then the little sprigs will start coming out. So you just, you know, if you mess up, just keep mashing until it kind of stays. And I guess strawberry parts are learned art. <laughs> have to have the soil really moist that's the trick to hold it in and just keep mashing and it'll stay in there so this one I got that one's in that one's in pretty good Whew. so I gotta get me some more dirt so hold on okay I added some more dirt and with a strawberry pot, strawberry pot you do have to mash the dirt a lot I try uh, a lot of other plants I don't mash uh, so much except for at the top but with a strawberry pot I mean you don't want the soil really really compact but somewhat if that makes any sense I'm trying to get this separated hold on it's hard to do everything with one hand I mean I do have a camera that's got to get a memory card so I'm working on it so I can actually work with two hands. So, and you just keep layering, layering, layering. So, I think I'm going to have to get me some more mint somewhere. So, and then you can put it like right on the root there. So it stay in. And keep wetting it. I'm gonna put some of this old dirt in here and get it out. It's really in there. I'm trying to do everything one handed, and it's making it kind of hard to do. I'm gonna use this pot for something else. So that's still got looks like a good bit of peat moss in it. So there's that one, and with mint. You want to make sure it's got room to grow because it will spread like wildfire. So, I'm hoping this is not too boring. Uh, I'm just enjoying the fall, semi fall weather. You know, wet and mash. So, let's see, I got another hole here. So, more dirt. And I've been adding some fresh dirt and peat moss as I go along to keep feeding it because it's going to be in here for a couple years and the peat moss will stretch out your soil as well I buy a big thing of peat moss for like 10 bucks it's really compacted and in that way if I don't really have no new soil then all you have to do is like put peat moss in it's like you got new soil so, if you think they're coming out, just keep mashing. See, that hole's getting full, so we're going to stick our plant in here. Like so, make sure you get the roots in good. Got to cover up the roots. I about got all this dirt out of here. kind of dry so just keep laying laying a big pot would take a while I'm trying not to make my video too long so keep mashing keep mashing I mean it's kind of soppy but you want it to be that way for a pot strawberry pot not other pots now mind you because you got to get this dirt to hold in so that's that's why so let's see, I've got, I got to find me some more plants, so let's find some. Hold on. There's my digger. And I was not wanting to get into this uh, one today. But I got this one that I got to spread out, and I propagated this a couple years ago. So I'm going to pull out a couple of those 
and then hopefully we can be done. Hold on. Okay. I'll pull me out a couple. So this has got really good strong roots, and this definitely has got to be separated. Uh, with my mints, I normally put them in like low wide pots or little planters like this. Like this one don't look good right now, but I started some other mint stretched out. I think there's some chives in that one. And this one, and this, that's how it'll come up. A little like that. I think my chives are coming up again. This is peppermint. i got to spread that out. i got peppermint there. So, anyway. Drank lots of tea. It's like free tea. I mean, you got to work for it, but... Uh, so, I got me two right here. So, I usually try to pick the prettiest one. For the top let's see this one this one's kind of full i think i usually try to put my best ones in the top so and they're gonna grow and then you cut them on the top when you want some tea but in the fall this is what i do i mean i have not uh planted my pansies yet so I spread out my pots, my mints, um, you know, you plant bulbs, different things, but and I've been working on my pots. So I'm hoping that you like this video. If anybody's ever had trouble setting up a strawberry pot, I mean, I had to learn myself. It was kind of a trial and error thing. So we'll dump the rest of the soil in the top. So hold on. Okay, when you do the top, you want to you know, soak it in real good. I usually put the dirt in a good bit, up pretty high, because it's going to sink down. I'm going to have to add a little more dirt. I'm trying to do this one-handed is tough. And I have another clay pot that I've got meant in uh, on my porch. So see, that way you keep making sure everybody's in. And it will, with some miracle, they will stay in. You just got to keep it moist so it kind of stays in there. So cover this up. And I have a little mulch in the dirt from the other pot, which that's okay. The mulch will break down. I buy some good cypress mulch and the plants love it. So do this water it again put some mulch on it and put it in a place that you like and i hope that you like my video i hope it wasn't too boring and i hope you learned how to do a strawberry pot don't forget to like share and subscribe talk to you later